um, which is an interesting play. I didn't see that one coming. And it's funny because if you remember, you were watching the um, the pay-per-view with me. Yeah, we were in Chicago and we were trying to come up with like who was going to be the next opponent. And, you know, when Tyson Fury jumped in, it was kind of like, well, they're not going to do that right away. Um, but maybe maybe it's Tyson Fury for for it. And I, it was like, no, it's not Tyson Fury. And it's like, oh, OK, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins. And it was like immediate denials. Right. No, no. So I was thinking like, well, who could it be? You know, is it? Is it Drew again? You know, and it turned out it was Logan Paul, who, I mean, I didn't even consider. So um, um, it's an interesting play. I mean, it's, it, it tells you, I mean, I think it's a real feather in the cap of Logan Paul that they trust him enough to put him in that situation. And the fact that he had a four-star match with The Miz tells me that he probably could do a better match with <laughs> Roman Reigns. So... I would trust him too. And, um, you know, it's funny. Um, sometimes like, like, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, like I've seen people like complain about it. I don't know if that's, you know, people complain about everything. So I should probably shouldn't even pay attention to it, but I mean, it's like, it's pro wrestling and, and, um, you're trying to get the widest audience. And in theory, uh, this will attract in theory, a wider audience than anything else you got. It will certainly get you more publicity than anything else you got. And he can do the job. It's not like they're going to go in there and the match is going to suck. I mean, if it does, well, then it did. But I've seen plenty of sucky main events that have made a lot of money, too. So that's not the end of the world either. I mean, we went through a whole freaking lifetime of WCW doing that. So, you know. Yeah. What uh, What did you think about the way that they pushed this? Like, I think it started on Logan's podcast is that how it's yeah 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 i think it started logan's podcast yeah and then and then triple h went on social media and said hey logan come to smackdown on friday night i think that um i i mean i liked it because i like that organic stuff that's mm -hmm. a little bit out of the box but you know if um you know come monday um i mean i'm, I'm interested to see if this if this means you know like this type of marketing helps the ratings or how much it does help the ratings. If they do a big number with this, then it tells you it really worked. If they don't, then it's almost like, well, maybe they should have done it on TV, but you know, starting it on his podcast, I don't, I think that's a good idea. Um, you know, but you know, doing it like I would almost like, like, do you want to say, Hey, instead of like doing it on the podcast and then going, um, we'll announce on SmackDown that he's coming to talk about Roman on raw that way you get the benefit of, you know, two plus million people that's your regular audience knowing about it to build it up as opposed to, I mean, yeah, everyone's on the internet, but that doesn't mean that they all find out about this. Um, is it enough to, to spike up the SmackDown number? I mean, we're going to learn. I, I, I think it might be, but, you know, I, I, we, when it comes to guessing TV ratings, nobody knows. Um, we all, we, we, it should, we just learn, you know, we, but we, but things change so it's this is this is a, this is a very interesting smackdown number for tonight um the raw numbers the you like the raw number on monday doesn't really concern me because it's like if it's bad you know it's like i know why and it's not because of the product and if it's really good well that's that's cool and then the aw number is is just interesting just because this number this week was was so interesting and you reported that they're going to be holding a press conference in las vegas uh on saturday uh, and that is the same weekend or the same night as uh, Golovkin and Canelo, which is the, the and biggest that's, boxing that, match of the year. And that's why they're doing it there. Yeah. And um, the the deal is is this the funny thing is is that they contacted boxing people and not wrestling people to be there, which for for a reason I think, and they are not wrong that boxing people are more credible as reporters and they want credible reporters there as opposed to wrestling media, which is not as credible or as connected or, you know, as connected to mainstream. So they're looking for all that media that, that Canelo is going to bring, mm -hmm. you know, especially Mexican media and trying to get them to pay attention to them as opposed to do something for the wrestling media. Like, like, they never even contacted me. You know what I mean? I mean, I know about it. And I mean, it wasn't like they said it wasn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the point is, is like they were not cultivating. Like I didn't see any wrestling media, you know, have a story about the press conference until I think we probably broke it. 
you know, but the boxing and, and, you know, the boxing media was the ones who they were cultivating for this, which is a very interesting marketing strategy. And I guess we'll find out, um, you know, because the thing is with also with, with these, with the Saudi show, you know, one of the things that, that they want for that is for, you know, it's about, you know, you know what it's about. It's about making, you know, Saudi Arabia put over Saudi Arabia and they're happy to have, they, they want a match that will get mainstream cover. I mean, the whole thing is mainstream coverage in the United States, mainstream coverage around the world, that this big thing is happening in Saudi Arabia. They don't want, you know, regular wrestling. They want something, something from that, that builds up Saudi Arabia. And so this fits into that bill too. So it, 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 it all adds up. I mean, I'm kind of surprised, you know, I'm, I'm a little surprised because, you know, again, Logan Paul, I didn't think he was going to do anything until like early next year, but um, it really um, it really adds up. I mean, I was told during the week, though, that, that he's got some big ideas out of the box. And this is obviously was the one that I was kind of warned about. So um, or one of them. So, you know, I can I can see where this is all coming from. Um, the I wonder if they try to get Floyd there, because obviously uh, I think there's somewhat of a relationship between WWE and, and Floyd, though I don't know how recent. Uh, he was at WrestleMania many years ago. Um, and he, But there's also a relationship with Logan Paul because Floyd fought Logan Paul yep. in that, you know, overhyped sparring session is, is really what it was. Uh, so and, and Floyd also loves to uh, make himself as still the biggest star and maybe show, uh, show up the Canelo fight, maybe I could see something like that happening. I don't know. I don't know if it's happening, but I, I would. I wonder if there if there was an idea to get him there as well. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if WWE had an idea for him. You know, at some point too. Although they've used him before, but you know they they want they want that mainstream ink. I mean, a lot. This this I think this group because of Nick um, is going to be way more than Vince you know, um, wanting it. Cause Vince is kind of like in his little world and doesn't really know. I mean, Nick is not in this little world and Levesque is, you know, um, you know, that that's, you know, he's, he's trying to prove himself as yeah, a, he's putting his stamp he, on it. He's trying to prove himself as a creative guy and, and, you know, getting mainstream interest is, is usually a good thing. So, I mean, um, you know, and, um, you know, they've got, they've got their ideas to expand, you know, I mean, mainstream interest, you know, that's what they want. You want it, you want it to be more mainstream. I mean, everyone, everyone does. Tony does, too. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.